everyone and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. This is the first video going up on my channel. Um, I decided to make this channel because I have a lot of questions that get asked about my job, about the career choice that I made, which was to become a flight attendant. Um, I have several friends that are always asking me, you know, for travel tips or for packing tips and um, I figured why not just make a video and I'm sure some people might be interested in some of these things too so why not? Um, I am currently sitting in a hotel room on a layover so I figured why not just take the time to make the video. So here I am and um, uh, just a little bit about myself. I am, a f like I said, I am a flight attendant. I have been a flight attendant for over a year. Um, I don't know if I want to mention which airline I work for just yet. Just for privacy reasons, um, I decided to go into the aviation industry because I was uh, in the sales department for a while and I was in banking. So that eventually got old and I decided to take the plunge and just do something that I've always wanted to do. And uh, as a lot of flight attendants say, they like to travel. So that is why they looked into this um, profession. So. Uh, today's video is going to be about my top travel essentials and these are things that I normally like to have on my trips. Um, these are things that must go in my luggage every single trip that I go on. So I'm not saying this is what you should take, uh, but this is just what I like to take and I'm not saying I have the key to successful traveling or anything like that, but I am just sharing some of my tips and I know that there are a lot of flight attendant channels out there um, so I just wanted to jump in and you know be a part of that world and if you're someone that's looking to become a flight attendant or you're just curious about what you know what the life of a flight attendant looks like I would love to invite you to you know be a part of this journey with me and you know be a part of this vlog slash lifestyle slash reviews channel. I'm not sure exactly what this channel is going to be about, but I will answer a lot of flight attendant questions here. And then I would also like it to be something that normal people, not that we're not normal, but everybody uh, can relate to. So the everyday person can relate to, that's what I mean. So if you would like to see what my top travel essentials are, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first product I want to talk about is my facial cleanser. This is the Philosophy Purity Face Wash. Uh, it's the one-step facial cleanser, and I like to put this on, wash my face with this after I take my makeup off. So I just take the makeup remover wipe and wash my face with this because I feel like this takes every bit of my makeup off, like every single bit. And I feel like a lot of the um, YouTube beauty gurus talk about this and I saw one of them talking about it so I went and I tried it out and it actually really works. Is my moisturizer. I have to have moisturizer on me. I go from extreme temperatures and this is, like I said, I'm trying to make this for the normal person, too, the everyday person too, not just flight attendants. But Having a moisturizer for when you travel is very important, especially during the winter time because if you're going, let's say, from LA to, I don't know, Minneapolis, LA is, let's say Los Angeles, it's like, I don't know, 65 degree weather. When you get to Minnesota, it's probably going to be six degrees and snowing, okay? Or you're going from Minnesota to Florida. So you're going from six degree weather to probably 85 degree weather and humidity. So it's very important for you to moisturize your face, not just your face, but your body, but... Um, usually you can find lotion in the hotel, so I don't necessarily worry about carrying it, but this face moisturizer I have to have in my makeup bag or in my luggage. So this is the Honest Company, the Honest Beauty uh, oil-free, dependable, dependably clear oil-free moisturizer. And I got this at the Burbank, at the Honest Beauty store in, uh, at the Grove, not Burbank, at the Grove. Um, Jessica Alva has her store there, but you can also get it online and I think this thing was like $22 and So it's the honest company, so it doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it like normal um, like every other Moisturizer would but this one. Um, I like it. It's not so great It's not all that but it's not that bad either. So 
and I just like the size of it and it's easy to travel with this 1.7 ounce. The next product I want to talk about is my EOS hand lotion. Everybody knows about the lip balms, um, but you can find this right here, the hand lotion at Target or Ulta. A lot of drugstores have these and they're only like a dollar, but if you go to Target, usually they have them in like the checkout stands right there. And I like this because it's so tiny, it's so small, it just fits in your hands and it smells really, really good. So, uh, moisturizing your hands is also very important. You want to take care of your skin. If you're a flight attendant that travels a lot, you have to take care of your skin because unfortunately we tend to age faster than a lot of people because of the type of job that we do. And if you're someone that's just traveling, just moisturize your hands anyway because you don't want your skin to crack, you don't want your... You want to keep the youth of your skin as long as you can. So speaking of moisturizing, the next thing I like to also moisturize is the part that people forget to moisturize the most until they feel like they need it, which is your lips. So I use this Vaseline Lip Therapy and I have it in the rosy lips and it's so tiny that you can carry it in your purse. It's also TSA friendly and... This is what it looks like on the inside. I don't necessarily like things that you have to put your fingers in because I feel like it's kind of gross. But, but, I mean, I use this at night and I use this in the mornings, like before I go to bed and, and when I wake up while I'm doing my makeup. So I try not to use it while I'm on the plane because I just feel like the plane is just this giant metal tube of germs at 38,000 feet. So I don't want to... <laughs> stick my finger in there wow. and speaking of germs something i have to have in my purse or hanging from my badge or my lunchbox i have like a bunch of these are uh is hand sanitizer these are the uh, bath and body works uh antibacterial hand gels and they're so cute um they changed the design on them but i think they're still so cute and they still serve the purpose i don't care they're like a dollar seventy-five, and sometimes they're what five for six dollars or something. And this one smells so good. This one's the sweet cinnamon pumpkin one, and it smells like Thanksgiving. It smells like fall. The sanitizer is a must. The next product I want to talk about is my crack. Now, before you judge me, okay, I am trying to cut back a little bit on this, but working at airports or working out of airports all the time this can get very expensive. So I had to go to the store and buy the, this, the instant coffee one. So this is my favorite coffee and it's Cafe Bustelo. This is Cuban espresso coffee. And I, you know, usually pay like 10 cents at Starbucks and get hot water or I get it from the plane and just put this in there and there you go. I saved myself $5 for a cup of coffee. and. These are, like, if you go to Star or Starbucks, uh, to Target, if you buy, like, the little pack of these, or it's only a dollar. Like, exactly a dollar for six of these. It's actually six of these. So, I will pay one dollar for six cups of coffee instead of five dollars for one cup of coffee. So, that sounds good to me. And also, if I want flavor, I'll either get, like, the half and half, and half from the plane, or if I want to get a little bit fancy, I take this right here which is the french vanilla coffee mate to go when i saw that they were selling these at the grocery store i was so excited these are only three fluid ounces so you can take through security um you don't have to refrigerate it and it just fits in my lunchbox just fine and i can just add a few drops of this and uh, add it and have some flavor for my coffee they have the french the, the french vanilla they have the hazelnut they have peppermint mocha and I don't know what other flavors they have. I usually just get the French vanilla, van, bleh, vanilla or the hazelnut one. But this time I decided to get French vanilla. And speaking of food, this is actually my favorite thing to carry of all time. And it's this Sriracha keychain. How cool is this? I got this at World Market. Yeah, I got this at World Market, or you can also get it at sriracha2go.com, and I think it's like five bucks. The only thing is you have to add your own sriracha, which was perfect for me. I don't like the normal sriracha. I like the Trader Joe's one. So 
Um, I just added that one in here. I don't know, I feel like the Trader Joe Sriracha is not as intense as real Sriracha. So, um, yeah, this is so cool. Um, I carry this in my lunchbox and it's a little keychain. Um, I, I have to have it inside my lunchbox tied to like a little zipper thing. And I make sure that whenever I let my coworkers have some, that they go to my lunchbox and get it because I know if I let someone borrow this, I'll just never get it back. The next thing I take is, um, it's also very important to have as someone that is a flight attendant or you just like to travel or you're going on a trip. Um, and it's this power bank right here. Um, I think I got this at Nordstrom Rack, but you can get them at like Amazon. Some have flashlights, some, but I just have this simple one. I also have one with the flashlight. My dad gave it to me, but I left that one at home charging. Um, so this one is really cool because you just charge it from there and then you plug in your USB cord and you just charge your phone. So I think this holds up to like two full charges and it's amazing. We've all had those days where your flight's delayed and you run out of battery, you're at 2% and your flight's still, you know, far from departing. So um, it always comes in handy to have these whether you're traveling or just to have in your purse on a normal day just so that you have that extra battery. So that is it for my must-have travel essentials. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit awkward because it is my first YouTube video. So uh, leave a comment down below if you use any of these products or if you have any questions, if there are any types of videos that you want me to film about um, being a flight attendant, about becoming a flight attendant, and just let me know what you want me to talk about. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for my channels for more videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye!